Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, Amen. Start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, with all the muchness that you have. James 5. Next, a word for the rich. Weep and wail over the hardships coming upon you. Your riches have rotted. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. And their corrosion will be the evidence against you and will eat up the flesh, your flesh, like fire. This is the Acharat Hayamim. And you have been storing up wealth. Listen. The wages you have fraudulently withheld from the workers who mowed your fields or calling out against you. The outcry of those who harvested have reached the ears of Yehovah Svaot. You have led a life of luxury and self-indulgence here on earth. In a time of slaughter, you have gone on eating to your heart's content. You have condemned, you have murdered the innocent. You have not withstood you. So, brothers... Be patient until the Lord returns. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth? He is patient over it until it receives the fall and spring rains. You too, be patient. Keep up your courage, and for the Lord's return is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers, so that you won't come under condemnation. Look, the judge is standing at the door as an example of suffering mistreatment and be patient. And being patient, brothers, take the prophets who spoke in the name of Jehovah. Look, we regard those who persevered and as blessed. You have heard the perseverance of Io, Job. You know what the purpose, the purpose of Jehovah was. The Jehovah is very compassionate and merciful. Above all, brothers, stop swearing oaths, not by heaven, not by earth, and not by any other formula. Rather, let your yes be a simple yes, and your no a simply no, so that you won't fall under condemnation. Is someone among you in trouble? He should pray. Is someone feeling good? He should sing songs of praise. Is someone among you ill? He should call for the elders of the congregation. They will pray for him and rub olive oil on him in the name of the Lord. The prayer, the prayer offered with trust will heal the one who is ill. The Lord will restore his health, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, openly acknowledge your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Eliyahu was only a human being like us, yet he prayed fervently that it might not rain. No rain fell on land for three years and six months. Then he prayed again, and heaven gave rain. And the land produced its crops. My brothers, if, you want to, if one of you wonders from the truth and someone causes him to return, you should know that whoever turns a sinner from his wandering path will save them from death and cover many sins. James pulls from a few different spots in the Tanakh. First, the fall and spring rains comes from Deuteronomy 11.14. Deuteronomy 11:14 Then says Jehovah I will give your land its rain at the right seasons including the early fall rains and the late spring rains so that you can gather in your wheat 
new wine, and olive oil. Also, that comes from Jeremiah 5.24. Jeremiah 5.24. They don't say to themselves, let's fear Jehovah our God who gives the fall and spring rains and season, who receives, reserves us the weeks assigned for harvest. Also, Joel 2.23. Joel 2.23. Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in Jehovah your God, for he is giving you the right amount of rain in the fall. He makes the rain come down for you, the fall and spring rains. This is what he does first. Next, James pulls from Exodus and Psalms. Jehovah is very compassionate and merciful. First, from Exodus 34, 6. Exodus 34, 6. Jehovah passed before him and proclaimed, Yud, He, Vav, He. Yud, He, Vav, He. Jehovah is God, merciful and compassionate, slow to anger, rich in grace and truth. Also, Psalm 103.8. Psalm 103.8. Jehovah is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in grace. Psalm 111.4. through reading this. To the upright he shines like a light in the dark, merciful, compassionate, and righteous. Lastly, James pulls from Proverbs 10.12, cover many sins. Hate stirs up disputes, but love covers all kinds of transgressions. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading James 5? We can learn quite a bit. We can trust the rich James has a warning. Weep and wail, the hardships are coming. Those who have loved money and the things of this world know that those storing up riches here on earth is who James is targeting. Judgment is coming quickly message to the brothers. Be patient until Yeshua comes. Wait as a farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Be patient. Keep up your courage. Know that the Lord's return is near. Encourage each other. Aim to be united. Speak in the name of Jehovah. Aim to be like Job. Ask Yeshua to help you to help you persevere. Aim to know the purpose of Jehovah. That is, compassion, mercy. Aim for your yes to be yes and your no to be no. Aim to pray more so when you are in trouble. Aim to sing songs of praise when you are feeling good. Know that when someone is ill, action is required on your part to call on the elders of the congregation. They should pray for them, rub olive oil on them, in the name of Jehovah. Prayer offered with trust will heal the one who is ill. Trust the Lord will restore their health. Also, the Lord will forgive sins. Therefore, aim to tell your sins to each other so that you can pray for each other so that you will be healed. Trust that the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Pray like Eliyahu and be righteous like him as well. Aim for spiritual fruit to be produced. Aim to help sinning brothers turn back from his ways and trust in Jehovah which will save him from death and cover many sins. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can aim to become compassionate and merciful as Jehovah is. 
Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can pray for the sick and be righteous so your prayers for others will be answered. And with the Arionic blessing, Jehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Jehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, friendship. Jehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. 